Okay, uh, let's look at the homework 1.3, 1.4, number 12. All right, so we want to find the domain and the range of this uh, piecewise defined function. All right, so let's look at the domain first. All right, for the domain, you can see that, uh, you know, uh, you can plug in any number less than equal to, uh, less than zero and use this formula. And you can plug in any number bigger than or equal to zero, then you use that number. So you can see that, that there is no uh, real number that's not included. So uh, you can see that the domain is going to be all real numbers, right? So the all real number we can say uh, open parentheses, negative infinity, comma, positive infinity, then uh, parenthesis all right so let's put that in um, as an answer all right so it's going to be a left parenthesis uh, negative uh, infinity comma and uh, you have an infinity and then right parenthesis all right so domain's easy all right then in order to find the, uh, the range, uh, we, we want to look at its graph. So let's try to sketch it by hand. All right, so uh, sketching the graph is not very difficult. Uh, you can see that uh, here. So we can just uh, draw the x-axis, right? And draw the y-axis. Sorry, it's not very straight. Um, so here's the y-axis, and uh, that's the origin, right? So let's do the top one, all right? So you can see that uh, 5 is the slope. So maybe circle that. That's the slope. And uh, this is the y-intercept. So y-intercept is 3. So we can indicate that. 1, 2, 3. So that's going to be a y-intercept. Actually, we can't include that. So maybe I should put the uh, open circle because it's a strict inequality. All right, then slope is uh, five, so it's actually quite steep. So the uh, line is gonna look somewhat like this. So it's a straight line with the slope five. So it should look like that, All right? Then we can have this picture as long as x value is less than zero, All right? Which means that the, you can keep the left hand side of the y-axis so you can keep the uh, portion of the line so we keep uh, that part right then the other one same way uh, slope is negative one right then y intercept is three right so since there's equality here we can include that so i'm going to put a solid dot here right so slope is negative one. So I would say you can draw a picture. So line should look something like that. Oops. All right. So that's a straight line. All right. All right. Then we can keep it as long as x is greater than or equal to zero. So we keep the, to the right side of the y-axis. So you can keep this guy like that all right so that's that all right so combine those two pieces we get a picture all right so when you look look at the uh, possible y values so range is going to be all right so you can see that uh, here uh, it goes all the way to negative infinity so it covers uh, all the way to negative infinity but you can see that the, the highest it could go is actually right at the y-intercept, which is 3, right? Then after that, it goes down. So it covers everything below and equal to 3, right? So which means that the range is going to be negative infinity, 2, all the way up to 3, and including 3, right? So let's uh, put that in. Right, range is going to be uh, negative infinity, comma, 3. Then we put the square bracket, right? See if it's uh, correct. 
So why don't I just hit submit for testing and see what happens. Okay, uh, it came back and looks like uh, we did, did these correctly. Right, that's it. I hope that, that this was clear.